Generic qualitative research, as the very name suggests, actually is the general type of qualitative research without a focus on one or another specialized type of research methodologies or research approaches inside the qualitative research paradigm. Um, what is generic qualitative research and why do we need to conduct uh, generic qualitative research in certain situations are the main questions that we will respond to in this particular presentation. So let us begin with the definition of this generic qualitative research. Generic qualitative research is qualitative research that explores, analyzes, and reports people's subjective perceptions and experiences about social phenomena around them. The focus of generic qualitative research is basically on ends rather than means of the research process. So as we know that the research process actually includes the, the, uh, the ends of the research process or the goals and aims of the research process and the means, which actually means <clears throat> the methodological considerations of the research process. So generally, in generic qualitative research, the researcher's focus is on finding answers to their questions rather than uh, prioritizing one research method inside the qualitative research paradigm or another type of research method. Um, so the rationale for the, qual uh, for the generic qualitative research design uh, can be further understood when we understand that there are different types of qualitative research design, such as grounded theory, case studies, phenomenological studies, ethnographic studies, and narrative studies, um, to, to just mention the main types of qualitative research studies designs. So these different types of qualitative research designs have um, their own considerations in terms of the kind of questions that, they, that, that are answered through these, these type of research designs, and in terms of the research processes that are involved um, in these different types of research designs. And so, um, the, for example, grounded theory generally is a research design where the focus is on the development of theory based on empirical data. Case studies are studies of singularities. Similarly, phenomenological studies are studies of, of actually people's understandings, especially of the psychological situations in which they are. Ethnographic studies are qualitative studies generally with a focus on understanding group relationships and interactions. And narrative studies actually explore um, participants' stories. Um, and so all of these different types of, of uh, research design inside qualitative research design have specific well-defined aims and they have certain specific requirements and boundaries. And so these designs and, uh, also have specific data collection and analysis processes. As a result, all of these different types of qualitative research designs are restrictive, both in definitional terms, which means they have certain specific definitions, and also in terms of procedural um, uh, procedural connotations of these particular research designs. In contrast to these, the generic qualitative research design is based on the uh, philosophy that ends justify means. So the generic qualitative researcher is less interested in the kind of design or the specific type of research methodology inside the qualitative paradigm. But they are more interested in actually finding the uh, answers to their questions or in other words, 
the, in the ends of the research process rather than the means. So this is a kind of pragmatic approach. Um, so the focus is on pragmatism rather than idealism inside the qualitative research design. Again, generic qualitative research brings in flexibility and adaptation in the research design um, as the researchers decide to make use of data collection and analysis processes in line with the specific requirements of the situation. Then feasibility, um, which actually means the practicability of the particular data collection or uh, collection or analysis or sampling process inside uh, the, the particular design. And so generic qualitative research design is more flexible in terms of uh, its feasibility for a design where the focus is on the ends of the research process. The other important characteristic of the generic qualitative research design is that it is accessible to novice qualitative researchers or junior qualitative researchers. So in many cases, novice or junior qualitative researchers, uh, especially qualitative researchers who are conducting research for their uh, research theses, might find it quite daunting and difficult to understand the intricacies involved in the philosophical connotations, uh, understanding the philosophical connotations and methodological considerations of the various specific uh, qualitative research methodologies. In contrast, the generic qualitative research design um, is uh, kind of more open and accessible to such junior and student researchers in the sense that they um, that, that the focus is actually on the use of the general qualitative research methods rather than the, the uh, methodological or the ontological or epistemological considerations and justification of the research methods. Um, and so the focus on, in the generic qualitative research is on the what and how of methodological choices which actually, actually means what research method will be used and how will that method be used rather than the, the why questions, which actually takes one uh, to kind of justification of the research methodologies or the particular research, qualitative research design, such as phenomenological research design or ethnographic research design or case study, et cetera, where more knowledge, more nuanced understanding of the philosophical, paradigmatic, and methodological uh, understanding uh, is needed. So in contrast, the generic qualitative research is more feasible and kind of more accessible to the novice research, uh, qualitative researchers who just want to make use of the general qualitative research design in order to find answers to their questions. In order to understand the concept further, here are certain suggested readings that you can read in your free time. There are certain caveats uh, while you, um, as a junior researcher, are uh, using generic qualitative research. In many cases, examiners might ask or senior Academic, academics might ask the, you to justify the use of generic qualitative research rather than a particular specific focused qualitative research design or research type. And that actually means that you need to have, um, you need to have sound knowledge, still you need to have sound knowledge of and justification for the use of generic qualitative research design. Um, so there could be uh, very practical reasons for, the, for uh, because of which you are making use of the generic qualitative research design. Um, and so as researchers, as junior researchers, you need to uh, although you might be using 
generic qualitative research designs because other research designs might not be open to use in your particular situation. But you still need to have a preliminary, a basic understanding of the other uh, type of qualitative research design. In other words, generally, while you are rationalizing your research methodology, it is important that you know why you are using a particular research design or research method, but you also need to know why you are not using another type of, uh, of possible research.